D-Lo 404 Boxing. Hey, uh, I want to talk about Gary Russell Jr.'s fight from Saturday against King Tug. Hey, look, coming into that fight, I was one of those people saying that, uh, you know, Gary has to take this guy serious. King Tug has some skills, has some decent power. He has the size. He might try to lean on Gary, you know, things like that. And um, a lot of those things I, I actually saw in the fight. But I also said that um, I think this guy is going to bring the fight out of Gary, and Gary, Gary's going to do what he has to do to keep him off of him. I actually figured Gary would be able to hurt, excuse me, hurt this guy late and get him out of there. I think I picked Gary in, like, the ninth round. But it wasn't to be. But uh, that said, I ain't no knock. I have no complaints on Gary's performance. I mean, Gary did what he had to do. And, and especially the way Gary came out fast and hot like he did, the question was, could Gary sustain that over a 12-round fight if he had to against against a bigger fighter who seemed to be relentless, coming forward, plotting? Um, he wasn't to be deterred. Um, I saw him get frustrated, but he never stopped coming. But the more he came, the more Gary, you know what I'm saying, diversified his attack and uh, started showing him different angles, showing him different looks. Um, Gary started varying the speed on his punches somewhat. And uh, Gary, you know, Gary just, uh, to me, it was it was a, a virtuoso uh, jewel of performance. You know what I'm saying? It was hard for me to find rounds to give King to. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. really put on a, a, a really a, a great swan song of performance if that was his last fight at 126 pounds. Gary says that um, he's gonna move up if um, none of the other, not, he, he doesn't get anything in writing when Leo Santa Cruz was gonna drop back down to 126 and fight him. And if that doesn't happen, then he's gonna go ahead and move up. He said he, won't, he don't really see anything at 130 he wants. He wants to go straight to 135 with a big cast on. You know, um, that's where you take Davis, Lomachenko, uh, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney. You know, that's where old guys reside. That's what old guys are eating at. So he wants to go up there and uh, try his hand at fighting the best guys at 135 pounds. And honestly, when you look at the little weight division, 135 is that division. Uh, 130 was hot for a minute, but, you know, it's like the best guys at 130 are all at 135 now. And uh, the other guys that were already at 135, they, they went up to 140 time ago so it's like 135 has been taken over by the guys that were the best at 130 um you know so that that division is really hot right now um one of the hottest divisions in boxing you know what i'm saying period so there's a lot of good fights to be made there um it remains to be seen if gary's gonna actually make that move but i'm intrigued by the fact that he wants to do this and there's so many fights that i can just see him matched up in, he, even outside of the top, you know what I'm saying, four or five guys. You know, um, you got guys like uh, Javier Fortuna uh, right there. You know, um, even uh, what's Luke Campbell or even, uh, you know, if Linares is there at 35, you know what I'm saying, Ryan Garcia, you know, uh, guys like that that are there, should, they dare to fight Gary or, or and vice versa, you know, that, um, can be had, and, and um, I, I'm, I may be mistaken about um, Ryan Garcia, Lenares. They could be at 130. I know uh, Lenares was at 35. He could have dropped down. I don't think he did, but I'm just not sure. And uh, I'm not 100 percent sure with, uh, Garcia whether he's 35 or 30. But I mean, he's right around that same weight division. And he's always mentioned with the top guys at 135. So of course, if he if he wants to fight Gary Russell Jr., that's a fight that they can make. But once again, uh, you know, much respect to Gary Russell Jr. for a great performance and, and, and even greater ring walk. Um, Gary Russell Jr. always uh, shows up and shows out. And uh, he, he's putting a lot of respect on his, on his heritage and culture with the ring walks. Uh, very uh, admirable the way he does that. And uh, I just want to say once again that if this is Gary Russell's final performance at 126, uh, he, he went out the right way. He fought a guy that was a legit threat, a guy that a lot of people, I'm not just talking about people like myself that are fans, but I'm talking about people who are, you know, paid, paid for this stuff to analyze and talk about boxing, that they, they thought this guy was a legit threat. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of guys that I, I respect a lot on this YouTube who actually um, picked King Tug to beat Gary Russell Jr. 
and I and I, I mean I'm on um Champ Ross's fantasy uh boxing predictions and I saw quite a few people pick King Tub to stop uh Gary Russell Jr. So um much respect to Gary Russell Jr. He did he did it his way and um he went out the right way if he's exiting 126 and I want to see bigger and better things for Gary Russell Jr. It's only February. I don't want to see Gary Russell Jr. go all of 2020 without another fight. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner, Trey X, and the whole block fam. Shout out to the LDBC. I'm out. Peace.